Hi, everybody, and welcome into the Cougar Sports Network. Lee Smelzer Court at the Cougar Cage as we get ready for college basketball. The tip off to the 2023 clash at Canyons as the Cuyamaca Coyotes take on the Oxnard Condors here in Santa Clarita. I'm Matt Robinson, happy to have you along with us as always. Well, the first game of the tip off for the 2023 season for both these teams. There's Kimaka this year, uh, trying to rebound after a tough year last year, four and 24 last year. They lost both their games at the, or they lost uh, one of two games at the clash last season, trying to bounce back, pick up a win here over Oxnard today as they go into their 2023 season. On the other side, Oxnard trying to do the same, six and 19 last year. They lost in their opener to College of the Canyons last season in the Clash at Canyons tournament. Both these teams have not had a lot of success over the season openers over the last number of years. For Oxnard, they've lost their last five. Their last win was in 2015 over Canyons here at the Cougar Cage. For Rimaka, it's uh, all nine season openers since the program came alive in 2012-2013. Right now, I've lost eight of their final nine coming through last season, trying to turn things around, pick up a win here, and their opener is there in their black uniforms, moving to our right here in the first half. Oxnard in white with some blue trim, attacking the goal to our left. And as Kremaka comes out and gets a opening jump shot from Patrick Brinkman, the center for Kremaka, but it's off the back of the backboard and out and back the other way. Noah Del Rio Sanchez with a quick lay-in and Oxnard has the first bucket of the ball game, a two to nothing lead. Kremaka going back to work on the offensive side. Here's Xavier Rubio, the sophomore point guard out of San Diego, California. Got it onto the near side. Took a shot that did not fall. And right back the other way, Noah Del Rio Sanchez quickly ahead for Oxnard. Daniel Ortiz now for Oxnard. Back to Del Rio Sanchez. They'll work it around to Cyan Sweat, and he'll go to work as he slows things down. Sweat, Del Rio Sanchez, both sophomores on the roster this year. As they get it into Daniel Ortiz, who's able to lay it home, the freshman out of Buena in Ventura. It's a four to nothing advantage here early on for Oxnard, just underway if you're just joining us. Brinkman back on the other side for Kuyamaka gets a, a bucket. Kuyamaka getting a steal and trying to throw it ahead. Able to hold it in was Rubio, and they'll work on the offensive side, but I believe stepping out of bounds right in front of the Oxnard bench was Sergio Franco. It'll be Oxnard basketball. Just a little over a minute and a half in. Rob Bukowski, the head coach of Kuyamaka. Ron McClurkin, the head coach of Oxnard. These two teams will play. The winner will await the winner of Canyons and Barstow, which comes up at 5 o'clock today. So we'll have two games again tomorrow, starting at noon and 2 here from the Cougar Cage. Here's Rubio, the sophomore point guard, as we said. 36 points in 34 minutes versus Barstow in the opener last year. Brinkman couldn't get a put back. Oxnard gets the rebound and they'll bring it out the other way. Here's Daniel Ortiz holding out high. He'll put it on the floor. Bounce pass onto the inside. Little turnaround from Rashawn Rucker that doesn't go. Both teams have stalled out a little bit on the offense. Here as we continue early on, a foul called as driving to the bucket was Xavier Rubio. And actually that 36 points in 34 minutes was the second game of the clash. He had 10 points in 23 minutes against COC. So he'll go to the line here. Rubio last year averaged 14.9 points in just about 10 minutes of play. Just over four rebounds and almost two and a half assists. So he misses the first, 
does not make the second either, but Ox, or Koyamaki able to get the rebound, got it back to Rubio, a little right-handed, laid it and fall. Brinkman, a couple of rebound putback opportunities that don't go, and then a foul gonna be called down low against Oxnard. Gonna go against Rucker. So a foul against Mora, and then a foul against Rucker. But a turnover, and Oxnard will get the ball back. And Sweat will bring it up the floor. And it's Jacob Mora catches beyond the three-point line. He'll get it to Rucker now. We'll swing it to the far side. Sweat trying to work for an open shot. Takes a 20-footer that doesn't fall. Tip rebound came out to Franco. Okay, Maka back the other way. Here's Rubio trying to work. Wanted to probe the defense. Instead gets it back to Brinkman. Brinkman wanting to drive. Puts up a left-handed shot off glass and good around Rucker. And we're even at four all after a quick four nothing run from Oxnard. We're back to even. A little under three, or a little over three and a half gone here in this first game of the 2023 clash at Canyons. Rucker left wide open for a three, did not fall. Rucker last year was 0 for 1 from three in his only opportunity for Oxnard. And misses on his first opportunity of the season from three. Here's Rubio back to work. Drops it off. Dooley a three-pointer that's good. And the Coyotes have a seven to four lead. Dooley a freshman out of So Del Oro High School. His first action in college. Oxnard down low to Rucker, but he misses. As Brinkman was there to alter. Dooley will bring it back up the floor. Dooley drives, lays with the left, it's good. And a timeout called by Oxnard here, nine to four. Imaka lead. It's the Coyotes off to a good start after Oxnard had the first four points, a nine to nothing run. As at 15.26 to go, a timeout on the floor. And we'll give you a timeout as well. At Jersey Mike's, watching them freshly slice your sub is the coolest thing you'll see. And the second coolest thing you'll see is this. Woo! Here we go. I could eat. Slice right in front of you. The Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Nine to four, Koyamaka out in front. Here in the first game of two today at the Clash at Canyons tournament. We already had women's basketball at noon today. Canyons in the PCC Sisterhood of Champions tournament able to take out Chafee and move on to the final, which will be played tomorrow down at Pasadena City College. As we go back to work here, part of a triple header today here at Lee Smelzer Court inside the Cougar Cage. Noah Del Rio Sanchez will send far side as Oxnard back to work. Ortiz will get it right back to Del Rio Sanchez. Now to Sweat. Sweat last season, only six uh, and a half minutes per game. Averaged just one point in those six and a half minutes. As a travel going to be called against Noah Del Rio Sanchez. Oxnard this year, really a fresh roster. You look, Chris Alfaro, Noah Del Rio Sanchez, saying Sweat. And Rashawn Rucker, all returners, but none averaged over 10 minutes a game, or none averaged over, averaged over um, sorry, five points a game. Only Rucker averaging over 10 minutes a game last season. As he turns this one over, so kind of a new look for Oxnard this season, and trying to bounce back off that six and 19 record from last year. Yamaka, a similar situation. You look Rubio, their leader in terms of returners and points per game, averaged 14.9. It was a 44% field goal shooter last year, 164 for 370. He was 47th in the state in field goals made. 
as he drives and tries to dish it off to Cervantes, could not. And back the other way comes Sweat. Sweat shows a good handle, brings it up the floor, got it to Ortiz. Back to Sweat, who will slow things down as Oxnard works in their half-court offense. Rucker will control, got it to Noah Del Rio Sanchez. He delays, drops it off to Ortiz, back inside. A little jumper from Mora is good. Ends a nine to nothing run and gets it back within a one possession game. Cervantes quickly back the other way. A steal from Noah Del Rio Sanchez coming back as Cervantes was trying to sprint towards the basket. Noxnard trying to go back to work. Mora is gonna be called for traveling. Wanted to try and make a pass, but kind of just turned it over. So an empty possession here for Oxnard is Imako will bring it back up the floor. Three-pointer on the way. Nice stroke that time from Dooley. His second three of the ball game. A 12-6 Coyotes lead. Has 13-18 to go here in the first half. Ortiz holding on. We'll get it to Del Rio Sanchez. Noah trying to drive, got underneath the basket, trying to spin it up with the right hand, but could not. Kuyamak on a fast break the other way, and an easy lay-in for Sergio Franco, the sophomore out of Grossmont High School. Franco last year, seven and a half points in nine minutes, averaged just under five rebounds a game. There's another turnover from Oxnard. Kuyamaka sends it to Brinkman. They were trying for a little razzle-dazzle, could not get the finish. Sweat back the other way. He drives to the bucket, tried to dump it inside to Rucker, but it hit him right in the side of the head. And Oxnard empty again, a little out of control that time on the offensive side. Rubio will walk it across the timeline as he'll go to work. He'll work it to Brinkman. Patrick Brinkman trying to drive baseline against Rucker, got up underneath the basket, laid it home. Another timeout by Oxnard, 16-6. We lock out in front. We'll take a break as well. Meet Nigel Terry. In 2018, UCLA Health made him Laker for a day. Not because he beat cancer once. He beat cancer twice. He inspired us to push. To make the impossible possible. Because that's what Nigels do. And the world needs more Nigels. UCLA Health. Sixteen the six, Kaimaka leading Oxnard. Game number one of the twenty twenty three clash at Canyons. These teams have been involved since twenty twenty one as a Block back on the defensive end by Mora. Snard trying to turn things around right now, trailing by 10. Mora got it to Devari Davis, who's fresh in the game. Davis once again with it. Now Mora. Mora going to be called for a travel. Was trying to put it on the floor, and David Brinkman able to get his hand in there and kind of tie him up. Once again, be coming back a basketball here. Patrick Brinkman now, guarded by Mora, puts it on the floor, spins at the block, left-handed turnaround, doesn't fall. Rebound picked up by David Brinkman, and the Coyotes will go back to work offensively here on a reset. Dooley driving. A wild shot with the right hand that went too strong. Oxnard back the other way. Sweat will dump it off. Davis will gather, gets it back to Sweat. On the near side to Isaac Means. They play catch as Means now collects once again. Back to Sweat. He'll put up a three that's short. Easy rebound for Orduno Greta. As 
Miyamaka back to work on the offensive side. Patrick Brinkman again now. Waves the right hand, sends it near side. Dooley with six to shoot. Will dribble to his left, dribbled it off his foot. Now has three, and it's going to be a double dribble. Rubio back in for Cuyamaca here as they go back on the defensive side. Oxnard back to work offensively. Condors haven't scored in probably about six minutes as Sweat misses on another three. Means able to fight for a rebound, but then Brinkman blocks it away. It'll stay with Oxnard here. Ethan Macias into the game. So they bring Sweat off. Brinkman off the floor. And there's Jameer Sykes into the game. Here's Means. Work it around. Mora. Going to be fouled. He's going to get himself to the line. So Mora, his first opportunity from the foul line. Last season, Oxnard from the free throw line. Just 73%, uh, which is actually 16th best in the state, as the first of two is good for Mora. They averaged just under 13 and a half foul shots per game. Second for Mora is good, so Oxnard makes a pair. First points in uh, quite some time. It makes it an eight-point game. Rubio collects, drives. Good lay-in from Rubio high off the backboard with a couple of Condors chasing him down. Back to a 10-point lead. Start moving around the perimeter here. Mari Davis will put it on the floor, sent it to Means, into the corner, three-pointer Ortiz on the way, missed off the front side of the rim. Rebound picked up by David Brinkman, who will dribble out of some trouble and bring it across the timeline. Rubio will collect. Is Rubio the one that runs the point? Kind of stirs the offense for Koyamaka as he picks it back up. Works off of a couple screens, gets doubled, swings it back. Arduno Grugeta trying to drive and then throws a wild pass out of play. So they'll go back to Oxnard as they'll go back to work offensively here. There's Isaac Means. Davis, now they work it around Ortiz. Back up top, Davis. He'll work to his right a touch. Onto the wing to Means. Back up top, straightaway three from Davis. Missed. Rebound off the hand of Mora. Poked out of play by, uh, I believe it was Arduno Gragueta. Brinkman will come, or Patrick Brinkman will come back in, along with Dooley as David Brinkman and Jose Arduno Gragueta will come off the floor. Oxnard off the inbound. Ortiz blocked by Brinkman as he was going up. Never got a good shot away. Kuyamaka back up the floor. Here's Xavier Rubio. Trying to work away from Macias. Able to slip him. Takes a little 10-footer that didn't fall, but Brinkman inside, skying for the rip and puts it back in. 12-point lead, largest of the day for either side. 7.57 to go here in the first. Macias stops his dribble, looking for some help. Will dump to Isaac Means. Means with eight to shoot, wanting to drive. And an offensive foul going to be called against Isaac Means. As Dooley was able to draw it. Mora and Ortiz off. 
Briscoe in, Rucker back in. So we see Theo Briscoe for the first time today. Foul line jumper from Franzo, no good. Macias with the rebound. His pass taken away by Rubio, but he couldn't control it, so Davis comes away with it. Davis kicks, wing three, Briscoe on the way, too much on it. Brinkman and Rucker battling for the rebound. Instead, it came to Davis. They dump it underneath to Rucker. He was blocked going up as Dooley got a hand on it for the steal. And with 7.04 to go, Kramako bring it up the floor. Dooley, foul line jumper, no good. Ronso able to pick up the rebound. Patrick Brinkman will collect and send out to Xavier Rubio. Rubio, head of steam into the paint. Stop up jumper off glass is good. 12 to eight in favor of Kuyamaka here. 22 to eight, excuse me, in favor of Kuyamaka here as they've started to stretch things out. Lead up to 14. Macias, a three on the way, too much. Patrick Brinkman able to collect the rebound and he'll dribble it out of trouble here. Dooley inside Brinkman at the block, off glass with the left hand, it's good. The Coyote offense starting to find its rhythm, lead is 16. Oxnard just has not been able to hit anything so far. 5.50 to go here in the first half. Briscoe, they work it around the edge. Davis on the far wing. Wanted to attack, instead will hold back. Got it back to Briscoe, who's tied up underneath the basket, but a foul gonna be called against Koyamaka. Goes against Patrick Brinkman. Sweat and Noah Del Rio Sanchez back onto the floor as Davis and Macias back off the floor for Oxnard. Remember the first game for both these teams, so everybody's still trying to find a bit of rhythm. Had some scrimmage games both sides, but nothing like the real thing. Ah, a blocking foul gonna be called against Sweat. Brinkman gonna get to the line as I think they'll say he was in the act. So Brinkman back to the line. First of two is good. David Brinkman back in. Franzo gonna get a break. Second does not fall. Sweat able to get the long tip rebound. He'll ship it ahead to Noah Del Rio Sanchez. Trying to drive baseline, dribbled it out of play as he got bodied up by Xavier Rubio. And it's a turnover on Oxnard. As Daniel Ortiz back in. Jacob Mora back in. Isaac Means along with Theo Briscoe off the floor. Kuyamaka back to work on the offensive side now. Jameer Sykes will bring it up the floor. Sykes sends it to Dooley. Dooley working off the screen from Brinkman will send it to Rubio on the far wing. Rubio dribbling into traffic and a nice shot from Rubio. Just kind of softly dribbled his way into traffic, was able to put it off the window and in. 27 to eight the score. It's a 19 point lead for Kuyamaka. They get another takeaway as the defense is held strong. A transition opportunity, but a run back block again from Jacob Mora. Second time today, Mora has done that. It takes away what looked like would have been an easy bucket for Jonathan Dooley. Instead, it's a Kuyamaka inbound play from underneath the basket on the Oxnard side. Robbie Schultz in for Oxnard to take over for Rashawn Rucker here. Inbound play towards Brinkman. He had it knocked away, didn't make it. Oxnard in transition back the other way. Count it and the foul for Daniel Ortiz. 
He'll go to the line. Foul going to be against Dooley here. Franco uh, back into the game along with Jose Orduno Grugeta as Patrick Brinkman and Jameer Sykes going to get a chance to take a break. Ortiz misses on the foul shot to try and complete the three-point play, so it'll be a 17-point lead. Four and a half to go here in the first half. Rubio from the foul line. Arduno Gorgheta able to get into the painted area, and he puts it in. So the young man from Tijuana, Mexico, able to make his first bucket of the ball game, and it makes it back a 19-point lead. There's Noah Del Rio Sanchez, little elbow jumper that falls. Soft touch from Noah Del Rio Sanchez. Soxnard trying to find a way to chip away. They need to get busy on the defensive end. So far, they have not really been able to slow down Cuyamaca, who's been able to work for good looks and finish him off. Here's Franco. Little fall away jumper from about 10 is good as it got a nice roll off the rim. Lead almost 20 as it stays in double digits. A three is good. Make it 16-point lead as Daniel Ortiz knocks it down. Here's Rubio. Again into the paint. Franco fouled on the floor. Noah Del Rio Sanchez, I believe, going to be called for it. Patrick Brinkman back into the game. This was Ordono Gregeta off the floor. Michael inbound to Brinkman. He'll drop for Rubio. Rubio kicks. Daniel Brinkman from the wing driving. Finds a look missed. A putback didn't fall. Picks it back up. And they'll swing it around to Franzo. Franzo at the foul line. Takes a jumper that didn't fall. Here's Noah Del Rio Sanchez, bounce pass inside Mora. No good from about 10 feet, got his own rebound, didn't get it to fall. Another chance here, and this time it's Ortiz from the block, knocks it down. Lead down now to 14. 2.25 to go here in the first half. Daniel Brinkman with the basketball or David Brinkman, excuse me, with the basketball. Gets it to Patrick Brinkman. His jumper from 18 didn't go. Mora able to pick up the rebound. Noah Del Rio Sanchez driving. Scored in the foul as he'll get to the line. A blocking foul against David Brinkman. And Rockstar has found their rhythm here late in this first half, half on the offensive side. Chance to get it back within 11 here for Noah Del Rio Sanchez. Foul shot there. Anthony Alfaro will check you to take over for Jacob Mora for Oxnard. 2.07 to go, an 11 point game. Lead was 19. But a little eight nothing run from Oxnard here. Patrick Brinkman though able to put it in. Gets it back to 13. Here's Ortiz. Dumps to Sweat. He's once again now Sweat with 90 seconds to go. Driving, scored in the foul for Cyan Sweat. Can make it a 10 point game with a foul shot. Sweat last year, seven of nine from the foul line. 
Sophomore out of Democracy Prep in Las Vegas. Makes the foul shot, make it a 10 point game. 33-23. Little under 90 seconds to go. Here in the first half. Dooley wanting to drive. Now will bounce pass inside Franzo. Reverse layup didn't go. And then the pass from Alfaro poked away. It'll stay with Oxnard. So you can get it to single digits if you're the Condors. You'll take that after trailing by as much as 19, but they turn it over on their offensive possession. Sweat, maybe lucky he didn't get called for a foul that time, trying to reach in and get a steal. And a bounce pass inside, a kickball on the floor against Oxnard. Possession will stay with Kuyamake here. 55.2 to go. Remember more men's basketball coming up at five o'clock today? Barstow and College of the Canyons, second game of the Clash of Canyons tournament. Then they'll go back to work tomorrow, 12 and 2, here on the Cougar Sports Network. We'll have them all for you. Franzo on a good bounce pass from Dooley gets free, makes it back a 12 point game. Swint directing traffic, throws it away. Franzo back the other way, but missed on an open layup. And the shot clock will be off. Oxnard can go back to work, trailing by 12 right now. Sweat. Up to Schulze, back up top to Sweat. 10 to go. Sweat driving to his right, corner. Ortiz, step back three after a penetration move, knocked it down, and that'll take us to the end of the first half. It's a nine point game. 35 to 26 in favor of Kuyamaka. We'll step aside, second half action. When we come back. College of the Canyons is always ready when it comes to your athletic future. With 17 intercollegiate sports programs to cheer for, opportunities for student athletes to learn, train, and compete, and a championship mindset that has produced state and national titles, College of the Canyons and the Cougars athletics programs offer a great college experience. Take control of your athletic future at College of the Canyons. Visit canyons.edu slash schedule and cocathletics.com now. Jersey Mike's, watching them freshly slice your sub is the coolest thing you'll see. And the second coolest thing you'll see is this. Woo! Here we go. I can eat. 
life right in front of you. The Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Meet Nigel Terry. In 2018, UCLA Health made him Laker for a day. Not because he beat cancer once, he beat cancer twice. He inspired us to push, to make the impossible possible. Because that's what Nigels do, and the world needs more Nigels. UCLA Health. College of the Canyons, we're always here to help make your future remarkable. Choosing classes is always flexible, so you can study your way, learn at one of our two state-of-the-art campuses, or from home with our online options. Tuition is always affordable, with classes starting at just $46 per unit. We offer financial aid and zero textbook cost classes to help you save. Always flexible, affordable, remarkable. Always College of the Canyons. Visit canyons.edu slash schedule now. Our sports medicine program here at College of the Canyons is meant to introduce students who are interested in some type of career in sports medicine. Most of my students are interested in careers as an athletic trainer, physical therapist, or orthopedic surgeon. So when they're done with our program, they will have their associates of science. Do you love sports? And do you take satisfaction from seeing someone go from injury all the way back to the sport that they love? Then this is a program you should definitely consider. At Jersey Mike's, they freshly slice your sub right in front of you, which takes some training. right in front of you. The Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above.
College of the Canyons is always ready when it comes to your athletic future. With 17 intercollegiate sports programs to cheer for, opportunities for student athletes to learn, train, and compete, and a championship mindset that has produced state and national titles, College of the Canyons and the Cougars athletics programs offer a great college experience. Take control of your athletic future at College of the Canyons. Visit canyons.edu slash schedule and cocathletics.com now. Jersey Mike's watching them freshly slice your sub is the coolest thing you'll see. And the second coolest thing you'll see is this. Woo! Here we go. Twirl. Up, up, big, two. Hand down. One hand, one hand. Up. No. Flip. I could eat. Slice right in front of you. The Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Meet Nigel Terry. In 2018, UCLA Health made him Laker for a day. Not because he beat cancer once, he beat cancer twice. He inspired us to push, to make the impossible possible. Because that's what Nigels do, and the world needs more Nigels. UCLA Health. College of the Canyons, we're always here to help make your future remarkable. Choosing classes is always flexible, so you can study your way, learn at one of our two state-of-the-art campuses, or from home with our online options. Tuition is always affordable, with classes starting at just $46 per unit. We offer financial aid and zero textbook cost classes to help you save. Always flexible, affordable, remarkable, always College of the Canyons. Visit canyons.edu slash schedule now. Welcome back into the Cougar Cage as we get ready for second half action between Oxnard and Cuyamaca. You look at the score, 35 to 26 in favor of the Coyotes and some of the numbers in that first half. Cuyamaca shooting 41% from the floor, 16 of 38. Oxnard 10 of 25, shooting 40% from the floor in the first half. Uh, Cuyamaca, the better of it at the three-point mark as they were shooting 40% from three, just two of four. Oxnard two of 10 from beyond. Each team with some free throw opportunities, relatively close on the free throw opportunities. Kimaka one of four, Oxnard four of six. The rebounds in favor of the Coyotes, 22 to 20, but the turnovers is what's really hurt Oxnard today. 14 turnovers in that first half. As you look at the leading scores for each side down at the bottom, Brinkman with 13, Ortiz with 12. Nobody else from either side in double figures. It'll be Cuyamaca basketball to start, or Oxnard basketball, excuse me, to start. And they come out quickly and miss on their first opportunity on the offensive side here in the second half. So kind of how they started the first half. Same thing, they miss on their first time down the floor. Brinkman with the basketball. Patrick Brinkman will send it to Franco. Franco spinning at the foul line. Dumps it inside Brinkman. 
It's knocked out of play by Jacob Mora, and it'll be Cuyamaca basketball here with three seconds on the shot clock. So a catch and shoot situation really here. We'll see if they work into a shot and they do for Sykes, a three that misses it all. And it'll be a shot clock violation. It'll be Oxnard basketball, basketball. So both teams empty on their first possessions. Here of the second half. Noah Del Rio Sanchez back to work for Cuyamaca, or for Oxnard, excuse me. He'll get it back and try and dribble baseline, spinning around near the baseline, looking for some help. Sends it up top, Sweat, a three from the wing on the far side, rattled in and out. Franco the rebound, able to keep himself in play as he'll outlet to Patrick Brinkman, who will drop it to Xavier Rubio. Over to Jonathan Dooley, three-pointer on the way is good. Dooley, who had eight points in the first. It's three of three from beyond. Stretches the lead back to 12. Here's Noah Del Rio Sanchez, a fall away from the elbow, about 15 footer, doesn't fall. Cuyamaca back the other way, Dooley. Gets it back from Brinkman, steps into a straightaway three. That one rattled in and out, his first miss from downtown. Four of nine from the floor, as Sweat called for a travel. I'll go back to Kuyamaka here. This is Rubio, just six points in the first half. Was a lot more active than that as he handled the ball for most of that first half for the Coyotes. But just three of six from the floor. Here's Del Rio Sanchez. Noah had seven points, three of four in the first half. Now Rucker collects. Got it back to Noah Del Rio Sanchez with six to shoot. He spins, tries to draw contact, threw up a wild shot that didn't fall. Rucker able to save the rebound. They work back inside to Rucker who backs his way into a position to score. So Rashawn Rucker, his first bucket of the ball game. Back to a 10 point lead. Rubio wanted to attack, instead backs it off. Got it to Brinkman. Patrick Brinkman dumps inside. Franzo bumped, missed, got it back, put up his own rebound and put it in. Sergio Franzo with eight now in the ball game. Four of eight. Has a takeaway, give him double figures now as he lays that one home. Just like that, the lead back up to 14 for Koyamaka here. Noah Del Rio Sanchez on a drive. Shot was altered by Franzo. Tip rebound finds its way to Sykes, whose pass misses its target and goes out of play. And it'll be an Oxnard change here as they'll make some substitutions. Rucker, Del Rio, Sanchez, Sweat all off the floor as Macias along with Means and Davari Davis back in. Nico Cervantes up off the bench for Cuyamaca here. Cervantes now checking back in to take over for Sykes. Oxnard off the inbound play, Macias. A wide open look for three from the corner, his first bucket of the day. So Oxnard trying to hang around here, trailing by 11. Rubio. I think it was a shot, it worked out as a pass as Franzo lays it in. So they'll give Rubio the assist. Yeah. 
Means fell down, got it back now, missed as his shot was altered. Flying back through was Dooley. Brinkman was there as well to make him change the look. Another stop for Guyamaka, who was very good in the first half in terms of limiting opportunities for Oxnard. As Rubio, a little step in the lane jumper that falls. And a timeout called by Oxnard. 15.01 to go here in the second half. 46 31, Koyamaka leading. Here from Lee Smelzer Court at the Cougar Cage. Welcome back in as we get ready for continued second half action. 46-31 here from Lee Smelzer Court. 2023 clash at Canyon's opener between Oxnard and Cuyamaca. Coyotes out in front. As Oxnard in the white uniforms moving to our right has the basketball as they go back to work trailing by 15. A three-pointer from Ortiz doesn't fall. Patrick Brinkman the rebound on the outlet to Franzo, who runs ahead, draws contact, doesn't get a foul call because he just kind of ran into Ortiz, who stayed right with him. And Ortiz able to pull down the rebound, and back the other way comes Oxnard. Kick into the corner, three on the way, no good. A shot from Macias that didn't fall. Has one three in the ball game on one of three shooting now. This is Kuyamaka back the other way. Brinkman able to get loose, but it's blocked from behind. That's the third time today Mora has had that situation. And then Mora gets called for a technical foul running back up the floor. So Mora was excited that he Swatted the ball away from Brinkman and must have said something running back up the floor. So it'll be two shots here. And it'll be Nico Cervantes to take the technical foul shots. Misses the first, missed it short. Second is good, lead is 16. Forty-seven thirty-one. Coyotes leading the ball game here, and they've led pretty much most of the way. A little stop-up jumper from Isaac Means finds the mark. Dooley foul line jumper in rhythm, no. Ortiz will drop Macias back to Ortiz. Brinkman able to get a hand up near it. Then Rucker couldn't finish the putback. Cuyamaca back the other way on an outlet. Rubio left-handed off the glass and in. And then a travel called against Macias here. Sykes was kind of just standing in his space. As 
Presco checks back in to take over for Macias after the turnover. Good inbound play for Oxnard. Brinkman counted in the foul. As Patrick Brinkman will go to the line. Brinkman had 13 in the first half. They call the foul on Ortiz, his second. Brinkman misses the foul shot. And Oxnard back the other way. Davari Davis. Condors will work it around to the near side, Briscoe. Ortiz back around to Davis. Davis holds up a finger, now gets it back to Briscoe. They'll work it around to the near side, Isaac Means. Means driving from the block, a shot that's short. Rubio able to come down with the rebound as he had inside position. Oxnard getting a trio up off the bench. A trio of starters getting ready to go back in here. Rubio looked at a step back, instead dumped it off to Cervantes, who did a good job just to handle the pass. They'll work it back over to Rubio. A little stop-up jumper from 15 is good. Maybe Rubio with another one. Lead now 20, largest of the day. Brinkman a block as Davis was driving. Then Brinkman leads the break the other way. Got it to Rubio. Into the corner, Dooley three on the way. No good. Rattled in and out. 53-33, 11.47 to go. Largest lead of the afternoon for Cuyamacas. Brinkman again taking a ball away, then tried to dribble it up the floor. Nearly turned it over. Cuyamaca able to get it back. Brinkman fouled going up. That's a good foul from Theo Briscoe to take away what could have been an easy bucket for Patrick. Brinkman will go back to the line and have to work for it. Officials together talking about something, not sure. Knox not going to take a timeout. Uh, Sums will check in. Brinkman made the first of two. When 11.33, we'll take a timeout on the floor. Second of two free throws upcoming for Patrick Brinkman here as he made the first. Lead is 21, trying to stretch it to 22. Both foul shots are good, 55-33. Noah Del Rio Sanchez, a three from the wing on the near side, no. Rucker the rebound. Sweat back to Noah Del Rio Sanchez. As Oxnard on a reset, back to work offensively. Kuyamaka trying to double here against Sweat. He'll dribble it out of some trouble and force it back into a man-to-man -man situation here. Frisco's three, no good. More of the rebound, right-handed hook doesn't fall. Cervantes ahead off the 
miss. Got it to Brinkman. Brinkman right down the lane. Missed on a chance as there were four hands in his face. And Oxnard will go back the other direction. 22-point lead for Kuyamaki here. Turnover on Oxnard, so it'll be Coyote basketball. Rubio will get a break. They'll bring Dooley back in. Franco will send it to Brinkman along the perimeter. He'll try and dribble towards the paint. Got it back to Franco. Franco, a little 16 footer that doesn't go. Got his own rebound, though, as it tipped off of Dooley. Now turns and puts it off the glass as he spun towards the baseline around Noah Del Rio Sanchez and knocked it in. So Kuyamaka stretching the lead to 24 now. Noah Del Rio Sanchez will get himself to the foul line. One for one in the first half from the foul line. Misses the first. Second finds it. Good work from Jameer Sykes that time. That shot does not fall. Is 61-34 take away for Kuyamaka. Sykes with an easy lay-in. 29-point advantage now as the Coyotes have pulled away here with 7.55 to go. Dooley able to pick it back up. Making a 31-point advantage, a timeout on the floor. It's Koyamaka running away with this one, 65-34. As they have pulled away here in this second half.
So Oxnard basketball, the lead is 31 now for Kuyamaka. They have run away with this one. So we continue on here in the second half with 7.20 to go. Ryan Sweat will send it near side, Ortiz back to Sweat. Stutter steps, bounces it into the paint to Mora. And he's able to knock it down. A little right-handed baby lay-in for Mora. Koyamaka back the other way with some pace. Rubio dumps it underneath. Arduno Gragueta couldn't put it in, and then it's out off of Oxnard after the battle for the rebound. The Coyote basketball here. Jonathan Dooley now spinning towards the baseline. We'll send it back up to Rubio. Now Nico Cervantes over Dooley and back to Rubio again as Kuyamaka just working on getting into a half-court set and trying to find an open look. Alfonso with 10. And 12 footer doesn't fall. Now Mora, Sweat, corner three from the far side is good. Oxnard just trying to build at this point. Lead back to 26 now. Franzo, this time a rhythm jumper that hits off the back side of the rim, doesn't fall. Oxnard quickly in transition. Macias, a three that hit off the shot clock after it bounced off the rim. And we'll see Brinkman and Sykes back in. It's Patrick Brinkman. They'll take over for Franzo. And Jonathan Dooley here with 5.43 to go. It's been all Kuyamaka here in the second half as they've pulled away. Cervantes, foul line, jumper, no good. Alfaro with the rebound. Macias will bring it ahead. Passed it along to Ortiz, back to Macias, drops it to Sweat. Sweat, who's been quiet today as they work it back inside Mora, runs into Orduno Gragueta, got it back to Sweat. A three doesn't fall, a rebound for Patrick Brinkman. As Brinkman shows off his handle a little bit, brings it back up the floor. Here's Cervantes, drops it for Rubio. Rubio back, Brinkman blocking the near side. Offensive foul called against Patrick Brinkman. As Ortiz was able to slide in up underneath him and stay outside the restricted area. Yeah, 30-second timeout by Kuyamaka here. Kowski calls a timeout. He was upset over the offensive foul. Lead sits at 26 right now with 4.48 to go as Sweat will throw it across the timeline to Ortiz as Oxnard back to work. Ortiz, a three is good. Ortiz finds his stroke. It's back to 23 now. That one poked out by Ortiz, so it'll stay with Koyamaka here. Dooley and Franzo back in. 
Cervantes and Orduno Gragueta off the floor. Robbie Schultz will come in to take over for Ortiz here. Brinkman. Good pass from Brinkman. Finds Dooley driving to the bucket. Gets an easy lay-in. Back out to 25 and a turnover as El Faro put it right into the lap of Ru uh, Rubio. And Rubio will just bring it ahead calmly. Sykes, corner three on the way is good. Jameer Sykes out of Lincoln High School, San Diego native. 70 to 42. Is Franzo going to be called for a foul? Maka going to empty the bench, except for Nico Cervantes. With 3.40 here, Sion Sweat back to the line. Misses the first of two. Elijah Del Rio Sanchez waiting to check in as Sykes, Patrick Brinkman, Dooley, and Franzo off the floor. They leave Rubio on the floor as Orduno Gragueta, Kai Long, Jordan Whitfield, and David Brinkman all come back out onto the floor here for Cuyamaca. Elijah Del Rio Sanchez checks in after Sweat made the second. Foul, 320 to go here. And they'll call a foul against Jose Orduno Gurgueta. Away from the basketball, so it's a turnover. Jay Mako go back to work offensively, or excuse me, Oxner to go back to work offensively here. It's 70 to 43 in favor of Koyamaka. Faro, the Rio Sanchez had his three blocked. Rubio back the other way. Went to the corner towards Whitfield, back in the corner to Rubio again. Now up top, Whitfield driving. Takes a shot that doesn't fall. It fell right into the hands of Kai Long who puts it home. Lead back to 29 here with just about two and a half to go. So. Koyamaka will advance to the Clash at Canyon's 2023 final. Here at the Smelzer Court. Inside the Cougar Cage, they will await the winner of Barstow and College of the Canyons, which comes up next at 5 o'clock. Now Nico Cervantes back in, so the bench empty. Starters off the floor for Kuyamaki here. And so the effort from Kuyamaka. Today on the defensive end, really the difference. They have held Oxnard to just 43 points. As Long has another one, the lead is 31. Three from Macias doesn't fall. Cervantes wanting to run the floor. Driving, lost the ball. Put it back down on the floor as he got it to Long. Now to Brinkman. Top to Whitfield. 120 to go in the ball game. David Brinkman stepped out of bounds, so it'll be Oxnard basketball. Hey, 
60 seconds left. Three-pointer good from Macias. Maka will dribble off as much time, I think, as they can. David Brinkman into a three short. Rebound from Schulze, outlet Alfaro. Foul line jumper off the window is good with 32.9. This point, this one academic. 26 point advantage for Kuyamaka. It's just a matter of what the final score is. Two second difference between the game clock and the shot clock as Whitfield dribbling around. So Kuyamaka will move on. They'll get a shot away, but it's a shot clock violation with a half a second left. It'll just be a quick Oxnard inbound, and that'll end the ball game. So the Coyotes will take it 74 to 48. So Macias decides to heave one anyway, doesn't fall, and that'll do it. So Kuyamaka moving on. They'll await the winner of, ba of Barstow and Oxnard here at Lee Smelzer Court inside the Cougar Cage tomorrow at 2 p.m. Thank you for joining us. We hope you stick around. Men's basketball continues here on the Cougar Sports Network, College of the Canyons and Barstow when we come back on the other stream, so make sure you flip over.